everyone. I'm coming to you from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania this evening. I made a trip up here yesterday, which is about four and a half hours, because a dear friend of mine that uh, I got connected with through the ministry of my first church at Lakeview Christian Fellowship, which was a new church plant, um, was having some major surgery at the University of Pittsburgh uh, Hospital. And uh, turns out 29 years ago, she had a serotomous, uh, serotomous cancerous mass on her hip. And uh, at the time she was diagnosed, she was given a year to live. And 29 years later, she's still here. Uh, unfortunately, they discovered another tumor, which uh, we discovered today was the size of a mango uh, attached to her spine. And we praise God because uh, today the doctors were able to remove that tumor successfully. And we pray for uh, my friend Deb's health and subsequent strengthening through her healing process. Uh, but I'm in this land of Pennsylvania where I spent more than 14 years ministering to two different churches. And so this land has uh, hosted uh, a variety of ministry experiences for me. And uh, I just thought, you know, it was really, really meaningful for me to have the opportunity to come here, to, uh, to be here for Deb, to be here for her husband, Harold, to be here for her daughter, Carol, for her husband, uh, Rob, and for their daughter, Emma, uh, through this time. And this was a family that we had grown very close to. We had vacationed together. And uh, so it was very important for me to be here. And she told me the story yesterday that she'll never forget the day we met and it was uh, as a result of a worship service we were having uh, in response to the September 11th attacks in 2001. And she came to that worship gathering uh, very frightened because her daughter Carol at the time was studying abroad. And uh, it was that event that brought us together. It was that event where she found a reconnection with her faith that had been lost so many years ago. And uh, we had developed this relationship. She ascended into leadership positions in our church. And um, they're just one of the high quality families that we're just fortunate enough to reach. And so um, I just thought I'd share that with you because you never know what connections you're making today that, uh, that might last into eternity. And so it doesn't matter uh, how big the connection might seem at the time. It could be the smallest of relationships now, but uh, with God's Spirit, you never know how He'll bring people to your side and how He will use you to minister effectively uh, moving forward. And so I wanted to share that word of encouragement with you today, uh, especially as I um, thought about uh, being here in this land in Pennsylvania. So um, I'm praying for each of you. I'm excited about all the opportunities God has in store for you, not only this week, but in the many weeks to come. God bless you.